Hey guys, uh, so today is my first day in back in the gym. So let's have a look, let's show you around. So this is our entrance. Obviously, uh, as I've told some of you guys, my full-time job is a fitness instructor, um, strength and conditioning coach, been an athlete, represented Ireland, kettlebell sport, coach team. So obviously we're all like, that's Muhammad Ali, COVID-19. Um, there's my gym, bathrooms, let's come into the main training halls of the men's bathrooms. So this is our main fitness uh, studio, we've had to change things about a little bit, um, make it all COVID-19 compliant. Um, so upstairs is the, uh, upstairs there, up the stairs, that's the office area. Um, so I, uh, obviously I'm qualified in traditional Chinese medicine as well. So I used to have a clinic room up there, but I don't anymore. I just don't have time. I used to run a full-time clinic in uh, Kilkenny city center, uh, acupuncture and tra traditional Chinese medicine, but I don't anymore. This is our kind of chill out area, some weights. So it's great for people training martial arts here. You can avail of some of the weights. You notice we don't use any machines. We make machines, we don't use them. No, I don't like machines, no use. We prefer free weights, um, Olympic lifting, kettlebell lifting, squats, bench, deadlift, um, all that type of stuff, and obviously body weight hit sessions. So let's take you into the martial arts room. So martial arts room is not uh, COVID-19 compliant yet. We haven't got it, it's all dark. Oh, don't worry guys, I'm gonna switch on the lights. Where are we? So, it used to be more like a, uh, traditional martial arts room, as you can see now, we've made it more into a fitness area, but we've got the matted area. Um, and kind of the empty, and we're gonna make our way around here. Training wall, mirror is very important to help you correct yourself. And our Mokyang uh, Jong, some of the weapons behind it, we hang the bag down, so we've kind of like got all our martial arts stuff there and uh, some of the syllabuses and things you can see. I don't know, can you see reversed? So we've got uh, Shandong Mantis, uh, Tian Gun for Xing Yi, Yili Chuen Systems, um, Kid Syllabus, Ling Jing Shan, uh, Mantis, 16 Roads, some of the Fighting Theory of Praying Mantis, some of the forms. Um, and then Makiwara, we'll do a little bit on that in a second. My little striking post. When I was younger, I see I always wanted a full-time martial arts school and um, I developed it in here. You know, when we run the gym, there was a few people running the gym at the time and uh, I took this front room and I developed it into a, a very traditional martial arts school, but um, then I got more and more into fitness and then I took over the gym completely um, and it just wasn't viable to keep this martial arts room only. Um, so now it uses fitness classes as well. Um, you can see down here, some of my beans and things for our hands. Unfortunately, we have to jam everything on the side, but it's also we cleared the space out, um, which is better for fitness classes and that's also good for wrestling. Because um, obviously we do catch wrestling here as well for you guys. Um, so then, uh, ah, that's my iron palm. I'm doing iron palm at home at the moment. So anyway, some, uh, the makiwara I thought we would do. So that's one thing I haven't been doing. I haven't been coming into gym. I could have come into the gym. But I figured whilst everyone else was stuck at home, I was going to work out with everyone at home as well. Um, and train with people that uh, with only what I've got at home. Uh, obviously I was able to bring stuff, uh, some stuff equipment, so I didn't actually come into the gym to work out at all. So usually I would be striking these guys every day. This one has the traditional makiwara on it. Uh, this one has wood. Um, and this one's a bit, you can't see, a bit softer. There's stuff in the way now. Um, so the striking post, some people say, well, Mark, that's not really traditional Chinese. Well, you know, look, Come on, let's be straight. Most of traditional Chinese kung fu isn't really from China, is it? You know, most of it's uh, most of the throws and takedowns are taken from Mongolia. If you wear that neat little Chinese frog button shoot, sure, that's from Mongolia as well. Um, if you want to dress Chinese and be Chinese, you know, wear the long dress-looking thing. Um, 
So most of the stuff that you from China should look at Shaolin's history. Most of the Qigong and the breathing has uh, history in India. Um, so, you know, I'm of always of the opinion, if you show me a better, more efficient way of training something, I'll do that. And Makiwara is one that I learned. Uh, Makiwara obviously um, was developed um, and really made pop in Okinawa. Um, some people say in history that they got the idea from the uh, Japanese coming over and using the posts for striking their bokken. Um, but what's great about a Makiwara is the spring back, okay? Um, so it allows you to perfect your strikes on it. Okay, because of the bounce back. Obviously, uh, up on the wall, I usually have a wall bag, and for years, I've done a wall bag. Wing Chun has a saying, you know, hit the wall bag for a hundred days straight, and then you, you know, throw it away. Um, but uh, a wall bag, look, I, I've done loads of different wall bags. I've also done more advanced iron palm where you raise up bags up on and you strike trees and stuff like that. It's okay. Um, but believe me, once I started hitting a makiwara, there was a big difference between that and the wall bag. Um, it is just, it's way more, um, you just get more bang for your buck, basically. It's simple as that because the give that you get back um, allows you to look at your structure. So let's give you a free lesson. Okay, so string punching. Okay, so a reverse corkscrew punch. One of the most important things to focus on when we're doing a straight punch is our elbow. Okay, so let's say we chamber back here. Okay, the elbow is pointing down. When you do a, a straight punch, let's, without the body mechanics here, my elbow, my palm, you see, is up and my elbow is sunk down. Okay, now you corkscrew it over. This is where most people make the mistake though is they come out all nice and good, then when they corkscrew the fist, the elbow floats as well. So they float it out. Once your elbow floats, which is fine, because sometimes you need to cut across, sometimes chin tray, you need to cut across a person, you float the elbow out. So you need control of your elbow. In fact, Wing Chun teach this with three different, or four different palms, one, two, three, four, in Selim Tao. Um, people focus on the palm techniques. You can screw off and put any handle you want on. That's what this position is in Selim Tao, and you see it in Sha Hong Chen. This idea is this, don't focus on the handle, it's what's important here on the elbow, okay? So when I'm doing a punch, I sink my elbow down. So when I snap it over, what I don't wanna do is let my elbow move. So a simple exercise is practicing So I can get a better angle. I can float my elbow in and out. So you need to start getting control of this part of your arm, okay? So when I come through and I punch in here, when my corkscrew snaps through and it straightens, my elbow doesn't flare out because then it disconnects. When it comes through, it opens up like that and it disconnects here and you lose massive power. As soon as your elbow floats out, all the weight goes here, there, okay? So that's why you bench press. You know, if, you, if I go in and I start bench pressing like this in the gym, what's the guy going to say? Man, you're using your triceps. You're not going to work your chest. You need the elbows to flare a little bit, not directly out. We're not going to go into bench press. But the more they flare, the more you get here, your pectoral muscle. So I do a straight punch where I flare my elbow out. Okay? Um, I'm not, it's not a pure straight punch. Okay? You're missing a lot behind it. It needs to be like an arrow out, but you need to control your elbow. So practicing controlling your elbow joints, you could be down on the ground or if I'm up against the wall, practicing moving the elbow. So when I strike the makiwara, okay, I want to not only control, so when the punch comes out, it rubs against the body, palm, down, palm up, elbow down, and the last second snaps. When it hits, I want to feel that bounce, my shoulders sunk, and that bounce should bounce back through and into my back leg, okay? So when I'm striking the makiwara, I want to feel that bounce back. Oh, I haven't hit this baby in a while. God, no, oh, it feels good. Now I'm back in the gym. Obviously, I finished Iron Palm. Um, I'm big into Iron Palm. I've done it for a long, long, long time now. Uh, and I've just uh, finished the 100 days again, proper 100 days. So those who know about Iron Palm know. The 100 days, the bit of sacrifice I did there. So um, no problem. I've actually done it like that's my third or fourth time doing that. Um, uh, so um, now I'm going to get into uh, striking the makiwara again. So uh, focus on straight, straight punch. 
in fact, years back, I came across this, uh, some of these details um, from um, an Eagle's Claw uh, instructor in China who, who has taught me some basic ex exercises of nice and close in sinking, turning, and then grabbing. And he told me every, every morning I had to do 100 of these. Out, out, body, turn, pan, boom, and out, okay? But you see, I don't flare the elbow. Down, okay? This is why sometimes when it comes through, I prefer to, when I strike, not to have it completely here, have it turned slightly. It's easier to keep my elbow down, okay? It's when I flare the elbow out, and it's not saying that it's wrong, but when you flare that elbow out, you're going to start working different types of punches, okay? Different angles, and it's not a pure straight punch. So if you're doing a system and it's a straight punch, straight down that line, that elbow, Okay, is important. So uh, the makiwara is a great tool for practicing that type of strike because it lets you know if it's out because you feel that bounce when you hit it. I can hit the makiwara and bounce back, but and different people, some people press. Okay, but when I'm striking, I want to hit it and I don't want to retract my hand. Why? Because I want to feel that bounce back and I want to feel where that bounce goes. Okay, so I can start correcting where I'm leaking power. Okay, um, you can build this up. I built it up to doing uh, a thousand strikes a day, and uh, my hand was fine. Obviously, from years of conditioning, uh, that wasn't the problem. You get little nicks and uh, cuts uh, as you do it. That just happens. You miss hits and something like that. The biggest issue was when I was striking was actually my torso. When I was hitting, I was using uh, reverse breathing. You know, you take both buttocks, uh, drive your hip in and lock in. Was the impact? bouncing back through my torso, I, uh, I used to, that would be what, what was the most difficult part of it. Um, because you're not punching with your arm, you're punching with your whole body, okay? Um, and if you're letting the bounce go back, it's the, every force has an equal and opposite reaction force. When you hit, it's gonna bounce back through. And uh, that's how I use the makiwara. There's, uh, I can't say that I know every single possible way the makiwara is used, um, but uh, there's some of the main methods I know. Um, some uh, really, really high level, um, really great um, Ishinru karate instructor um, that uh, uh, he, he liked to do a lot of pressing uh, on the makiwara and stuff like that um, from it. And uh, he, he, his strikes were phenomenally uh, strong, are uh, very phenomenally strong. And uh, so not everyone has the same method. The main thing is you understand your method um, and it gets results, okay? And uh, the makiwara for me, I know, when I'm, when I'm doing a lot of training on that, um, I know it uh, because uh, when, when, you hit some, when you hit someone, um, you, get, um, you get a good result um, from it. So uh, guys, that's my gym. I did an impromptu uh, Makiwara lesson and now I must leave because this video is 13 minutes and 15 minutes ago I told my girlfriend I would be home. And no amount of martial arts can protect you from an angry girlfriend. You guys know it. Guys, thank you very much. Cheers.